This is an historic win. It doesn't belong to just me. Oppenheimer walked away with some big wins. Lily Gladstone made history and Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet had heads turning all night. We're breaking down all your favorite moments from the 2024 Golden Globe Awards. Stars like Taylor Swift, Leonardo DiCaprio, the cast of Barbie and Oppenheimer, and so many more grace the red carpet at the Beverly Hilton Hotel for the annual award show, and many of them stop by to chat with The Hollywood Reporter as well. Sitting back and just seeing everything now, it's almost like I'm pinching myself. This year marked a new era for the Golden Globes. The 2024 ceremony had a new voting body of 300 journalists from around the world. The show also nixed the Cecil B. DeMille and Carol Burnett Awards for this year's ceremony. First time Globes host Joe Coy kicked things off for the big night with an opening monologue that wasted no time cracking some rather bold jokes about some of this year's biggest film and TV nominees. Yo, I got the gig 10 days ago. You want a perfect monologue? Yo, shut up. You got, you're kidding me, right? Slow down. I wrote some of these and they're the ones you're laughing at. Look. Early big wins of the night included Divine Joy Randolph for Best Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture for The Holdovers, Robert Downey Jr. for Best Supporting Actor in a Motion Picture for Oppenheimer, and Stephen Yun and Ali Wong for Best Actor and Actress in a Limited Series for their work on Beef, with Wong making history as the first actress of Asian descent to win in the category. I really need to thank Sunny so much for creating such a beautiful show and inviting me to be a part of it. And the friendship that I made with you and Steven and Jake and the rest of the cast and crew is, is, will always be the best thing that came out of beef. Among the night's most memorable moments, all eyes were on Taylor Swift, who had the whole place shimmering in her reputation-esque gown, cheering on her fellow nominees and having herself a night. Swift went into the night nominated for this year's brand new category, Cinematic and Box Office Achievement. Big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL. On the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear, there's just more to go to here. We were also treated to a mini musical interlude from the Globe's favorite presenting duo, Kristen Wiig and Will Ferrell. It's truly amazing. Incredible. How much a laugh can... Elsewhere, some eagle-eyed viewers even spotted Kylie Jenner in attendance, who was seated with her rumored boyfriend, Timothy Chalamet. The Globes also did not shy away from addressing this past summer's dual actors and writers strike. To demonstrate the importance of writers and writing, we ask that this segment be written not by writers, but by studio executives. <laughs> what is up, Shamik? Not much, Daniel. How are you, Haley? I am relatable. I am enjoy the Golden Globes. Going back to the winners on the TV side of the night, The Bear walked away the big comedy winners with Jeremy Allen White winning for Best Actor and Iowa Debery for Best Actress. Yeah, this just really means a lot. There's so many people who I probably forgot to thank. Oh my God, all of my agents and managers' assistants to the people who answer my emails. <laughs> And for TV drama, Succession held on strong with Sarah Snook and Kieran Culkin walking away with trophies for Best Actress and Actor. This is a nice moment. Suck it, Pedro. Sorry. <laughs> As for film, the big wins of the night went to Emma Stone, who won Best Actress in a Motion Picture Musical or Comedy for her role in Poor Things, and Paul Giamatti for The Holdovers for Best Actor, Comedy or Musical. Killian Murphy won Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama for Oppenheimer, and Best Actress Drama was given to Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon, who made history as the first Indigenous person to win the award. I just spoke a bit of Blackfeet language, the beautiful community nation that raised me, that encouraged me to keep going, keep doing this. Um, I'm here with my mom. <laughs> Other notable wins included Christopher Nolan for Best Director for Oppenheimer, and in their Barbie heavy category, Billie Eilish and Phineas accepted the award for Best Original Song. And speaking of Barbie, the summer mega blockbuster won in the newly created category, Cinematic and Box Office Achievement. Thank you so much to the Golden Globes for creating an award that celebrates movie fans. This is a movie about Barbie, but it's also a movie about humans. We made it, it's about you. We made it for you and we made it with love and 
Thank you for loving it back. And finally, closing out the night, Beef won Best Limited Series, The Bear and Succession took home Best Comedy and Drama Series, and Poor Things and Oppenheimer were given the top honors of the night, taking home the awards for Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, and Best Drama, respectively. For the full list of winners, snubs, and all things Golden Globes, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.